Hey, it's Glenn Rose, say the victory roll. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. It's another video with your older than average YouTuber, and this one is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a mix of new releases and a build palette. And why is that? I don't have that many new releases, so I thought two birds, one stone. Why not? So if you'd like to see what new releases were interesting me this week, which palette I built, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. All right, the new releases this week is a whopping two. That's right, two new releases caught my attention this week. And one of them, we're building. So you stay tuned and uh, we will get to building it pretty soon, but let's talk about these two new releases first. So first off is the Wheat Belt Palette. This is by Geology Cosmetics. They're out of Australia. This is a 10 shade palette with um, some mattes and some shimmers, two shimmers to be exact. So eight mattes, two shimmers, or at least that's how it looks on the photos and yeah, so um, a shimmery blue and a shimmery, I want to call it almost a bronzy peachy shade. They describe as a shimmery taupe. But funnily enough, when I looked at the swatches, it felt more peachy to me. But here we go, a shimmery taupe. And then they had the shimmery blue shade. But it's looking like it to me. It looks like it's eight mattes and two shimmers. But uh, this is a cute little palette. Check it out. It's some of my favorite colors. We've got some yellow. We got a little bit kind of orangey shades, um, a little bit of some grungy greens, couple neutrals, including that one shimmer. I think it's a nice um, mix for um, 10 shades. Do I think the blue is kind of, would I put the blue in there? I don't think I would have. I probably would have put a shimmery green in there or a shimmery yellow. I think that's what I would have done. So again, the um, palette is 52 Australian dollars, which would be about $52 Canadian. And it's adorable. Um, this is their second palette. It's, um, they have, the palettes are usually in the same shape. They have the triangly pans. And normally weird shaped pans would bother me, but it fits nicely. There's really no wasted space. Like you couldn't jiggy it around and be like with a lot of those weird shaped palettes and go, oh, you could have added one or two more shades. No, it is perfectly beautifully laid out. The palette isn't huge, so it wouldn't take a lot of space. So I don't have a problem with it having a weird shape. $52, I mean, when you're looking at $5 and 20 cents a shade, it isn't that much, but, um, yeah, to for coming from Australia plus shipping and stuff, that might be a little bit much for me anyways. And plus I'm gonna know by, remember that. Um, it's adorable though. It is really, really adorable. I do like this color story. Like I said, the blue kind of sticks out a little bit weirdly to me. It's like the old school, um, you know, neutral palettes with that pop of blue that everybody used to got, get so excited about back in the day. But am I unhappy that it's in there? No. Um, would I kick this out of my house if it showed up? Hell no. I like this color story. Um, it is available on April 14th, so you still got a little time to think about it if you're not in a no buy and you're looking for a new palette and you like this color story. And um, like I said, we're gonna be building this one at the end um, after we dock our, about our next new release. So you can kind of see if that's something that you may be into if you like that color story. So again, April 14th, on it will be on Geology um, cosmetics website for 52 Australian dollars and it is their wheat belt palette and uh, did I show some swatches if not here's some quick swatches here before we go on to our second one and our second one is a release from a brand I really like they're from Las Vegas some of my favorite highlighters are from them the highlighters that I have always smell absolutely delicious and you can be seen from space and introducing our haunted highlights yes the spring is coming but we are in an october kind of mood here at bitter lace beauty so we will be calling this season spooky spring 
I love it. So this is six all new white to multi-chrome satin shifters. Um, it's a new formula. It's finely milled and buttery smooth. It's it has a pastel sheen and there's no sparkle or large shimmers here. And then if you look at this photo here, you will see that each of the um, shades have cute little ghosts embossed and it says each sheet each shade features its own 3D design. And uh, yeah, these are beautiful. So here are some swatches, or swatches, some pictures of the shade, some of the single shades. Um, they come single, they're $25 US each, which is a little pricey, but they're the big sized pans. They're beautifully embossed. Here's all six of them together here again. Um, they put them on these really beautiful kind of clear trays so you can really see what the shades look like. They're absolutely adorable. I like it a lot. They're available now. Um, here's a close up of some of the shades here. And here's some swatches. Look how shimmery and beautiful they are. I have, I believe, five of their highlighters and you can be seen from space. They are brilliant. They're just like I like them. And so again, that's from Bitter Lace Beauty um, out there in Las Vegas. Again, they are $25 each. So buying six of them may be a little crazy. I think $150 <laughs> is a lot for highlighters for all of them. But if you have the cash to spare, why not? Um, if these showed up at my house, I'd be a happy camper. Um, what shade would I be most interested in? I'm thinking I'm liking the shade Boogie. Yeah, you know, we kind of like uh, things that are green around here. And the shade Ghosted, it's a kind of a, a bright blue, I think is really pretty as well. Um, yeah, so there we go. This is the easiest week of new releases ever. One palette and some blingy highlighters. That's it. So... Um, if I was on a no buy, would I buy them? Well, I would definitely maybe buy because there was a few other um, highlighters and things over at um, Bitter Lace that I've been having on my list for a while. So I would have probably looked at maybe possibly getting one or two of the highlighters. Um, and that, again, that little um, wheat belt palette to buy Ge Geology Cosmetics is really cute as well. That comes out on April 14, but again, that's a little pricey. And well, you can see right now, can we build it? So that's it for new releases. If you wanna see me build the Wheat Belt palette, just keep watching, it's right up right now. So are we ready to build palette? So um, this will be the palette of one of the two releases that we had this week. We meld this video together because there wasn't a lot that was entertaining me this week. But this is from Geology Cosmetics and this is the Wheat Belt palette that we will be creating. It is a 10 shade palette. Um, a disclaimer, they, so I did, originally I was doing one to five and then six to 10, but then when they did their swatches, they did one, two, three, four, five, and then they did it as um, what I would have had as as um, number six, as number 10, and then they did kind of did like 10, nine, eight, like that. So it took a little bit, but I'm going to do it the way they did it. So the, so the picture will show one through five and then 10 through six. So it's kind of like it's going like this. So again, they do everything that has kind of a geological um, stone, rock, mineral type feel to it. And I saw their first, I think their first release, I don't know if this is their second or their third, but anyways, when I saw their original launch, it looked really good, but it wasn't really my color. I don't think it was really my color story. But this is my color story. I love yellows. I love greens. This one's really, really nice. And again, um, you'll see that the swatches and the color palette um, are a little bit different. So I looked at the shades on the um, palette to try and find things that match. But then I looked at the swatches so that when I swatch, I try to match the swatch a little bit. So I'm trying to do best of both worlds because I understand how lighting is. There's one color that I used and 
but no matter how I took pictures, they were like, no, 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 this is not how it looks. No, 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 no. So it took a while to get it even close to what the color is supposed to be. So I can understand how sometimes taking the pictures of the palette and swatches may look totally different because it's all about the lighting. So these are the ones that I think match what's in the palette. So the first shade and is going to be from, and I don't think I've used this one yet in our build. So this is from the Kimchi Virgin Mojito palette. And you'll see as soon as you open it, oh, this Kimchi, the color story. And it's totally a me color story. I really like this palette. This was actually, I, I got her first palette as a gift. And then this one was one of the first ones from one of the first purchases I ever did. And the first shade I picked was for number one was Lemoncello, and then I thought this one was the closest for swatch and for how it looked on swatch and palette. Um, yeah, let's do it. It's only 10 shades. Let's do it here. So that was shade number one on my end, and that is Lemoncello, and that was from Kim Chi's Virgin Mojito palette. So from number two, now this is... I love these type of green shades. And the closest one I found was in the Midas Artistry 2 palette. Come heck or high water, I cannot read the names on this palette. And if there was a, sh the, the sheet doesn't have names on it and I can't see it on the container, but I could not read it. So I'm calling it, so when you look at it this way, it's the top right shade. Like I said, it's got a, it's, it, the gold on the green isn't so bad, but it's like when I do, when I write in script, it's like really stretched out and I can't read it. So it is this shade here. So we're going to call it Top Right from Midas Cosmetics Artistry 2 palette. And this is when they were Midas MI, but I think they're now Midas MY. So that is the second shade. And that is, um, Top Right by Midas Cosmetics in the Artistry palette. I think this one, um, swatch wise and looking in the pan were relatively close. So that's this cute little Artistry palette. Um, I think until they make some new stuff, they are still, the last time I looked, they were still selling off at good prices. The last kind of few palettes that they had left because I think they're in the middle of rebranding and doing some stuff. So. The shade and number three, this is from, I think either we used this palette possibly at the last build. This is the Everything Palette by Jean-Luc Cosmetics. It is one that is very neutral with some pops of color, like this pink and this purple are super intense and they go on really lovely. But the shade that I thought worked best looking at, well, especially more of the swatches, but it was pretty good. Um, no, it looks darker in the shade. At first I thought maybe it was this one that would match up, but it was actually this shade here called Hourglass. So this was what I would have as number three. And then we're gonna pop kind of this here. And the thing with neutrals, like to find the right like undertone of, you know, is it too cool, too warm, too red, <laughs> too brown, cocoa? Like, so this one was the closest, I think, that matched up with the palette. And again, this is the Jean-Luc Everything palette, and it is the shade Hourglass, and that is that shade right there. I think we may have another color from this one in here, so I can pop it where I can grab it. So shade number four, this is a palette I've tried to do a few looks with. It's a really good quality, but I can't seem to get a color story I like. So it's kind of great that there's a couple colors in here. So maybe we could play with this one when we do our look. But this is from C Color. It is a um, affordable brand from the US. They, I believe, started doing a lots of dupes of Jeffree Star products, but now they do a lot of stuff on their own or maybe it's the other way around, I don't know, but they've done some um, Jeffrey Star ones. But the first shade for number four is Apricot, and this is the Peaches and Cream palette, and Apricot is right here. And this one was an interesting one to find. I found some that were pretty close. A lot, of, Some matched more the swatch, a little bit like the swatch, some matched a little bit more like on the palette. And this was the one that I think was the closest to both, but definitely more towards the swatch. So this is apricot, and this is a really pretty color here. 
And I think most of the, and you see how well that swatched. Um, most of their palettes are like really cheap and then they like, you know, some like 10, $12, some even less. And then you can sometimes get deals where if you buy four palettes and the four palettes will be like five bucks each and it'll be like a couple bucks um, more than just buying one of the palettes by itself. So they've got some good deals here. So this is Apricot and this is that shade here from the Peaches and Cream from C Color. So number five is also from Midas Cosmetics and this is one of my favorite palettes of all times. This is the Lemonade palette. And when you look inside, you will see why. This is, if you're looking for a yellow, honey type. Um, I know a lot of people compared this in the, is it Oh, Oh, Ho honey or Oh, Oh honey or something by ColourPop. Well, if you know me, you know, I dislike ColourPop, but this is supposed to be the better version of yellows. But if you have the Oh, Ho honey or Oh, Oh honey, whatever it is, Oh, you ho. Um, you may not need this one and I'm not sure if they'll be reissuing this one, but this was my favorite one. And it is the shade called Twist, which it doesn't say on here, it does say on here and it is here. So this is one where, um, is this? yeah, Twist number five. Yeah, it looks more yellow on the um, picture, but on the swatch a little less so. And this is the one that's closest to, so this looks more like the swatch when you swatch it and then in the pan but the other one looks like it's a like a shade down from lemoncello the kimchi one or but it is actually more of a, this type of a yellow shade so let me just pop that here and it's like that you know it's like a yellow with a not quite orange but I don't know how to describe it but like a darker not not as bright I guess maybe is the word so this is number five and this is from the Midas lemonade palette and it's the shade twist oh yeah they have it on the back there too and on there so there we go so now we're on to number six so number six as you'll see by the photo is actually on the far right on the bottom normally I would do it from the top but since I'm going to try and match their swatches which I will have at some point there um I'm going to do it their way so for number six we're going to go back to peaches and cream and we are going to do the shade nectar so again this is from C color the peaches and cream and then it is this shade here and uh, this is a really really pretty shade too so maybe this is the palette we'll try and build a look with and look at how pretty that shade is I'm really liking this color story um, if you like to do a sunset eye this definitely will probably be the palette to do that with as well so this is number six and this is nectar from the C color palette so number seven is another little palette that I really like. I don't know if you all remember these, but this is the ABH Norvina collection. There were these little palettes. I think I have, I have three out of the four of them. And this was the first one I got. I really like this one a lot. And this is this color story here that has greens, yellow, oranges. It's a weird pop of pink. I don't know what this is doing here, but here we are. And the shade we're going to use is A3. And then again, this is the um, Pro Pigment Palette 2, but it's the mini size. I think the other ones they have um, Pro Pigment Palettes are big ones, one, two, three, four, but it's like the mini one. So this is the shade here, and this is an A3. And then uh, this is a palette that I think is probably already expired, but I like it, so I have kept it. So that shade there, I think that goes more towards the swatch than it does on the palette, because when you look at number seven there, it looks almost like a skin tone peach, but then when you see the swatch, it is definitely more like this. So that is shade number seven. So, and that again is from the Norvina, yeah, Mini Pro Pigment Palette 2. Okay. So number eight, yes, I knew we were gonna come back to this one. So this is from the, again, Jean-Luc, the Everything palette, and we're gonna do the shade Goddess. So Goddess is, where are we here? Right here. So here it looks a very beigey, goldy, 
a beige gold and then so it looks like in the picture for number eight there but with sparkle but then when you look at the swatches it definitely has more of a kind of peach peachy look and I just um swatched this one because it was one of the shimmers I thought it I, and I thought oh just for for shits I will do that one and it matched really really well so I thought that this was the right color like a bigger swatch so there we go I thought that was pretty close to the one that's in the palette so that's number eight from Jean-Luc the everything palette yeah so I think these colors in here are very again so this is the one thing I've been learning as I'm building I think a lot of these palettes are super original I don't think a lot of them has the exact same shades but again we're just trying to create something that is reminiscent or close if you can't get it to kind of stop your FOMO so for number nine we have the only kind of like I, guess I want to call it standout shade different shade out of the color story is this shimmery blue and I decided a this one was pretty close in tone and B I just love the shade so I thought we would pop this one in here and this is from the meet me at midnight palette Lois cosmetics and it is the shade tonight so it's that shade there so I'm going to give that one a swatchy swatch and then that is number, let's do one more. There we go. So that is a shade number nine tonight from Lois Cosmetics. Meet me at Midnight Palette. I love this palette. Now this is the shade where I tried taking a photo of and then at first I was like, no, 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 it's not, it's not this yellowy. It's more this tone. It was really hard. So when you see my, my picture, it may not look the that much the same as when I hold it up now, but it was as close as I could get it. So this is from the recently deceased palette from Beetlejuice. Um, unfortunately, this one has been discontinued but it was the one that had the shade that I thought matched number 10 the most. And it is this one here by Beetlegeist. And um, here again, it's looking lighter than it actually, actually it is. It has a little bit, it's looking more lighter green, but it has a, I wish I could, we've got beautiful sunny weather. So we've got nice light here. So I didn't put on any lights, uh, studio lights. I thought we could just do some nice sunlights. But anyways, that was the shade that I thought was the closest to number 10, Beetlegeist from uh, Melt Cosmetics. Beetlejuice collection and there we go. I thought that was the closest. So here we go. We've got 10 shades here. So our last shade again is from the Beetlejuice recently deceased palette from Melt Cosmetics in the shade Beetlegeist or Beetlejuice. And there we go. We have 10 colors picked. So I think I did pretty good. So I think it's time to um, put something on our eyes. So we'll be back in one second. All right, so let's go and prime our eyes with a, a little rumor two from P. Louise. Got myself this jumbo size base. <laughs> and we're going to pop that onto our eyeballs. I've got my regular brush in for cleaning. So we will use this one today. Yeah, so, yeah, so I'm very, I was very curious about this um, geological based makeup brand and really wanting to see what other colors, their stories they do. I believe again, they were based out of Australia. So, I'm very happy to try and build this since I can't buy anything right now. I did the um, glam light video with the Scooby-Doo. Now all the Scooby-Doo stuff is on sale. It's like, hang tight woman, hang tight. Okay, so there we go, we are primed. So now let's see what we were thinking. I do wanna, because I've not used it on, on here, on screen before, this peaches and cream one. So I thought maybe we could do 
um, some peach, those couple peach shades in here. Um, I want to do peach and yellow or do maybe do, yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to take Hourglass. So this is the one from the Jean-Luc. I'm just going to go and put a little bit of darkness on the outer edge of my eye because that's one of the issues I think I was having. I literally filmed three videos with this one palette and I didn't like what it was. And then I had a conversation with a friend and I... I definitely didn't trust the process and I think that was part of my problem that I needed to finish and then some liner and lashes would have probably fixed the problems I thought I was having. So there we go. So we're going to go into Hourglass. So that was the one of the um, kind of brownish shades that was in the palette. Um, everything basically was pretty yellow um, or peach and some green but there were couple standout different shades. So it was that shimmery blue and then it was this more kind of more neutrally brown shade. I mean, I really, you know, of course I want to do a grungy, look how nice and beautiful and pigmented this is. The Jean-Luc palette is really nice. So we place this color down nice and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and then we're going to blend that out. And then, um, yeah, I was quite surprised to see that there wasn't really any new releases that I was into this week. So I thought, well, I don't want to not do new releases. And I did like this one, and I, but I thought at the time I um, do this, even though this, this one's not coming out for a little bit, as you will know if you watch the beginning of this video. But I thought, well, it might be a little old in the tooth to discuss new releases uh, if I wait too many weeks. So I thought, well, you know what, let's kind of do this merging of the, um, cause I usually do on Fridays, I do my releases and then Mondays I will have on the weekend to did the build a palette from one of the new releases and then pop that in on a Monday. But I A, had some new palettes to play with this week and B, there weren't that many new releases, but I don't want to break too much from my um, film when I film. So I thought, well, why don't we can at least put new releases and the build a palette since they are kind of related to together. So there we go. I had grabbed a little extra of the brown while I was doing this. So I'm gonna one more time blend out. Like so. Yeah, I think because um, there is a brown in here, but it didn't seem to go as dark. So I think that was the other problem that I was having. So I thought, well, maybe if I have something to anchor it, I might be a little bit more successful in using this palette. Okay, I like that. Again, as always, we just wanna see what kind of color story we could get if we bought this palette. So next up, and I think, yeah, we're gonna try and see, even though I really wanna use the green out of here, we're gonna stay clear for green today. And then we're gonna do some peach and then maybe we do a little yellow in the, for brightness. So one of the shades that we had was Apricot. So it was that shade there. So let's give that one a whirl. And it would be nice, it'd be nice to use that Beetlejuice one too. Beetlegeist, that's a fun shade too. So this is from C Color. And you can see it's really good quality for, um, for a cheap price. So if you're in the States, cause I have a Dollarama, but I don't have Dollar Tree, I don't think here. They were, I saw a YouTuber, oh, there was a YouTuber who saw a person on TikTok that had got for $1.25 in the US, they got some C color Jeffree Star dupes. So they had found, I think two or three of them. And, um, this other YouTuber that I watched had hunted all his Dollar Trees and he found one. And uh, yeah, he did a more neutral of a look, but quality for C color is really good. Like I said, I was just having trouble trying to find a combination that would work. I had, like I said, I literally filmed this three times and deleted the, the C color video three times. So I thought, you know what? Since some of these colors made it into this, let's see if it helped. And it did. So I think this will be a look I will be happy with. And I wanted to do it justice, so I just didn't want to film a terrible video when I know it was me, not the palette. Because look at, look how nice. 
for a, I think it, I think this was like $10 and it's still available on their website. So if you like um, peaches, neutrals with a pop of yellow and pink, interesting color story, this palette. I think that's another reason why it was a little tough. I think this is definitely a palette that I could use with other palettes like I'm doing now to get to the right look. So I'm gonna go and get that fluffy brush again and then we're just going to here. So there's this kind of darker yellowy shade. So I think I will bring that over a little bit and then we can probably maybe put something shimmery and yellow over top. So I'm gonna take this small little Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush and we're gonna go into Nectar Let's do that next. Yeah, because this was kind of the yellow that had, I didn't know how to describe it, like a darker yellow, not so sh um, sunny. So I think that goes pretty good with orange for kind of a sunsetty eye, I guess. Oh, finally, finally getting a look with the C color palette that I like. Oh, see how beautiful those, those blended in together there? Like, so nice. Look at that. I like it. Go see color. Thank you, makeup enabler. Alrighty, so now I want to do something shimmery. So I think we should stick to um, the color palette that we picked. So from the Lemonade palette, we had picked Twist, but that isn't, so we don't have any yellow shimmers. We had light shades, but no shimmers, but I feel like I want a little shimmer on here. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit <laughs> and I'm gonna go on to this shade, which I believe is, is Zesty. And we were gonna pop that over top, so we're gonna cheat a little bit. We're gonna use a little bit of this shimmer from the Lemonade palette. So yeah, there's only two shimmer shades in there. I mean, I suppose I could have used the one from the Jean Luc one. It had a more, it had a more, um, it did definitely had a peachy look to it. But yeah. There we go. It's a little bit better with the finger. There we go. I think it needed a denser brush than the one I was using. But I just felt that I wanted a little brightness there. Right? Okay. So then I'm going to put a little bit more of the shade. apricot again just a little bit more because I took it away a little bit with the shimmer so I'm gonna kind of bring that back a little bit there we go and then I'm gonna go back into the Jean-Luc palette and I'm going to get our hourglass shade and I'm gonna pop a little bit more on the edge as well and there we go I think that looks good. And then for our inner corner, let's use the shade that um, got us. Yes, that was the other shade that we that we had used in our little palette build. And let's go stick that onto our inner. I'm gonna guess that the only my only quibble with that um, wheat palette is. That we needed a lighter shimmer in there. Yes. But you don't have to when you buy a palette. You can mix and match just fine. All right, there we go. There is our simple look with this. So I'm gonna go and do my base, finish up the eyes with mascara and stuff, and then we can have final thoughts. I'll be back in one second. 
Okay, so here is the comparison of the original palette and then the colors that I pulled. Um, yeah, again, taking pictures is a little bit hard to get it to matchy match. As you can see, they don't look close at all. But when you look at these swatches, I think I did a really good job at matching up. I think this might be one of the best ones I've done so far. What do you think? I think I did really good this time. I always say that, but I think I did really, really good this time. I think this matches up pretty good. Let me know your thoughts. All right, and we're back. Here's our final look with the Geology Cosmetics Wheat Belt Palette. So that was our, well, our build of the palette. And uh, yeah, and then I got to finally finish a look with the C color palette that I liked. So this is good. I am happy. So kind of like maybe instead of two birds with one stone, we hit three in this video. So there we go. So yeah, this is a cute little palette. I mean, so for 52 Australian dollars, which the Canadian dollar and the Australian dollar are usually sometimes they're a couple cents higher. Sometimes we're a couple cents higher in our dollar exchange. So basically 52 Canadian. If that's a little expensive for a $10 palette or $10, a 10 shade palette plus shipping. But like I said, it was able to build it, I think pretty closely. So that's going to stop my FOMO for a little bit, but there we go. Another palette build done and uh, some new releases. So if you like this video, please give us a like, a comment and subscribe, and maybe even hit that notification bell. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still build palettes together. As always, behave, make good choices, and we will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.